And once again, this victory is credited to Grimoire's champion. I have a new suspicion that the general does not tr trust magicians very much. Let me much. tell you something, M. Paul Michel. Brother does work. And Kiki bowed his head towards Lorraine. She nodded at him. Thank you for your service. Sarah knew that saying that was very difficult for his mistress, and he hoped that Amokiki realized that. We should return to the Citadel to organize ourselves. This newly combined army will take much out of us all. They agreed and returned to the Amazon stronghold. They had seemingly achieved the impossible. They had ebbed the tide of two raging seas. That's not how any of that works. <laughs> <laughs> He's still, still working through that. <laughs> they had ebbed the tide of two raging seas and stopped a war right in its tracks. That's a mixed metaphor. And the tide of two raging seas is my Earth, Wind, and Fire um, tribute band made up of old ex-members of Earth, Wind, and Fire. I missed the fact that it was an extra mixed metaphor because they stopped it in its tracks. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like... <laughs> like, like this was the last step needed to bring both the elves and humans together to form a treaty that would mend hundreds of years of tension between the two factions, while simultaneously forging the largest army the world had ever seen. Just like last time this demon army had sprung up. Less than a generation ago. Yeah, there was wine and song to be had at the Amazon Citadel, and the party heartily enjoyed their well-deserved respite, but all of Erevorn seemed to be celebrating the coming peace. Why is there a bot at the beginning of that sentence? The war was coming to an end because both sides had realized their petty differences were nothing in the light of ever burning Unless it, in light of a much larger war. Saren did his best to enjoy the celebration because it would likely be their last for, the long, for a long time. He opted to stand rigidly in the shadow of Loren, awaiting her command. Unfortunately, so was Amukiki. Despite the celebration happening around them, neither could allow the other to act more protective of their mistress. So instead, they stood guard for nothing. A flock of elven slave girls swarmed them and urged them to smile and dance, handing them goblets of wine. Are they slaves who are elves? I or, think so, yes. Okay. Or they like, are slave girls. Like, they're in the Amazon capital. These are slave like girls. That. Like, girls that have been taken from the elven forest and pressed into slavery. I can do yeah. Saren took a cup and tried some, allowing himself a small pleasure. Amukiki, however, looked offended into his drink. Why? Don't you have a drink more worthy of me? Saren wrinkled his nose from the rude comment. Wine was a noble drink, and the Amazons grew fine grapes that were worthy of anyone. They do. Well water. Uh, I prefer the term raw water. <laughs> 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 I don't know if that man is a genius or an idiot. The gladiator whipped to look at him, insulted. Saren felt confident in his quip, and just to top it off, started to chug his wine right in front of them, because nothing says class <laughs> like chugging your wine. When done, he slammed it down in victory on a nearby pedestal and coolly walked away to join the dancing by the fire. Saren walked up to see what Kambara was up to. She was standing in the dark and by herself. Aren't you going to join the celebration? Uh, celebrate what? What is long from over and not back home in swamp? You should join everyone else. Yeah, I know why you're bothering me now. Want to see me dance, is that it? Kambara raised her arms and swiveled her hips just once. <laughs> not, not, not really. But why not? Yeah, you have to say magic word first. Saren shifted, unable to shake the idea of Kumbara dancing for him out of his mind. Please? No, 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 no. Different magic word. Nope. Wrong word. She dropped her arms and briskly left where she was standing. Saren could only turn and watch her leave. Saren shook with an unknown feeling. Magic word is, uh, is very old. It's very forgotten. It uh, chills the spine of people. Listen, you go on quest to learn magic word, then we talk. <laughs> you like fetch quests? I've seen you. Yes. You fucking love them. <laughs> All of those fetch quests. Saren took his goblet of wine and walked through the revelry, admiring the happy faces. However, there was one figure out of place, lingering in the shadows against the Another far wall. one lingering in the shadows. So many figures in the shadows. Why are you not enjoying the celebration? The dark elf was silent, but Saren could tell that he heard him. Have some wine, at least. 
Here, you can have mine. Saren walked towards him with his goblet out reached. <laughs> as soon as he was close, Mesfit peeled off the wall and walked in the opposite direction. Of course, he couldn't help but be insulted from the cold silence, but also knew that he would never understand the depth of what was going on inside that dark elf. He realized his eyes had been finding mirth the whole night. I like it's because we're romancing everyone. Right, yeah. <laughs> so we're just like, <laughs> we're just chaining it. Oh, it's so good. But she'd been standing with Ray for most of it. While getting himself a goblet of wine, he finally decided to approach her. As expected, Ray gave him a disgusted look. Mirth, however, was surprised to see him, but smiled. I brought you some wine, since Ray didn't get you any. I smell from grapes! They just stomped them! They just stomped the poor grapes! <laughs> Mirth smiled warmly, but her brother was less receptive. Ah, thank you. But I don't drink wine. They stop the poor wee grapes. Oh. Now this is embarrassing. Ray groaned and begrudgingly left the two of them alone, much to Saren's relief. But he was still stuck holding two goblets like a fool. Just choke them in triumph, man! That's how you react to that, right? After a beat of <laughs> silence, Mirth held out her hands as if to take one from him. Thanks for that thought, though. I thought that's basically all you're good for. <laughs> Have you considered becoming a mind flayer? Just, just become a huge brain. Uh, yes. A huge brain. More silence. That's one sip, one not her. She had Saren's full attention when she brought the cup to her full lips. Tentatively, she, kept, she tipped the full cup toward her and full drank from it. Her eyes immediately clenched shut and she coughed. Saren went cold from having made her do that for him. He quickly took the goblin and put them both down to make sure that she was okay. You really didn't have to. Merce started laughing, her cheeks glowing. Oh, I'm the abettus one. I can't believe people drink this, let alone enjoy it. Fair point. Uh, yes, it is a bit foul tasting. You get used to it. Aye, it tastes like great murder! His eyes found a drop of wine still clinging to her mouth. Instinctively, he reached up to wipe it away. When his hand touched her face, she looked up and her smile disappeared. Instead, she was staring helplessly into his eyes. Saren was startled by a bout of braying laughter beside him. He turned to see Draco with an empty goblet and drooped eyelids, wobbling unsteadily. Hello! Exactly how many cups of wine have you had already? Uh, including this one, uh... Cups? Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Cups? <laughs> right. <laughs> Saren attempted to pry the goblet from his hands. Instead, Draco stumbled forward, forcing Saren to catch him. Uh, none. I do have quite a few of that grape juice. It's, uh, it's a very, very, it's a very good juice. Draco hung loosely against Saren's chest and tried to wrap his arms around his neck. Saren successfully pulled him off and tried to get him to stand on his own. Juice. Right, you should never be allowed to drink. That's not flammable. I hope it's flammable. <laughs> no, I drink. like drinking. Only eating forever and forever would be so boring. Draco proved incapable of standing straight, so Saren tried to get him to sit down, but it was not graceful. He practically fell down on the floor. He winced, as it looked like it hurt, but Draco was still as merry as could be. At least you're enjoying yourself. Uh, why don't you dance with me? I'd rather not. And sit with me. Why? Sit with me, Saren. And sit with me or I'll cast a fireball. The fushy kind. Draco imitated a fireball and then laughed at himself. Saren took pity on him and searched for some water to sober him. He returned shortly with a ladle full. I actually super dig that. Ladling water is one of those things that like you do in the Middle Ages that you don't think about now. Uh, but it's a super good visual. He found that Draco had fallen asleep against the pillar. Saren shook his head with a smile and decided to sit down next to the sleeping wizard. He sipped the water for himself. The large door of the stronghold started to wheel open and the heavy sound rang through the air and silenced many people. In through the door fell several dwarven men, out of breath and distraught. Where well, shit, the demons! Queen Karen rose to her feet and Loren rushed forward. Well, what is it? Tell, tell us quickly. Also, is that a fucking light bulb? On your hat. Is that a light bulb? 
I, well, I, I what forgot kind to of, take off my secret dwarven technology yeah, what hat. Kind of, no, 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 no. Well, shit, son, the great city of Hammerhands ain't but under siege by a demon and his goddamn army. Ramus is like, hell no! Dora placed a comforting hand on Ramus, who was already enraged by the news. He does have an eight pack. At least. Travel to Hammerhands and save the dwarves from the demon's sudden attack. The messengers explained how the mighty dwarven city had been breached by a great demon and his followers, destroying all in his path. Loren wasted no time in gathering the party to venture forth. <laughs> That's gotta be on purpose, right? You know, put an end to it as the first declaration of war against Foss. What if it's not on purpose? What's not on purpose? Gather your party to venture and venture forth. You must gather your party to venture forth? No? From Baldur's Gate. It's from oh, Baldur's yeah, Gate. No. And it's and it and it carries on into all of those those style of games. So Pillars of Eternity, mm. which is like powerfully a Baldur's Gate tribute, does the same thing. Mm. And I wonder if it's on pur an on purpose reference to that, like it is in Pillars of Eternity, or, or if an it's accidental because like, internalized that's just trope? what you yeah. think because it's an internalized thing. Yeah, that's super neat. Hammerhands. Oh yeah, it's right outside Everburn. Yeah, that's a terrible place to be. Yeah. All right, let's go and uh, trash whatever's going on here. All right. Oh, we should have gone to camp. Oh, yes, we should have. Screams of terror could be heard even before they reached Hammerhands, which I fucking love as a city name. It's just so dwarfy. <laughs> um, so anyway, screams of terror could be heard before they even reached Hammer Time. Uh, Lorraine held her companions up to the front gate, led her companions to the front gate, and found the area had been decimated. One in ten pieces of the front gate had been removed. Oh, no, man. This is my home. Only demons would destroy so mercilessly. Or, you know, literally anyone else, like the undead, or orcs, or goblins, or... Or elves, or empire. Several or dwarves ran up to him. Uh, I think this is all, this is all you, Doug. Thunder and lightning, it's folks to help us. Who caused this madness? Demons? Hundreds of them. They are attacking the keep now, and if they claim it, the whole city will fall. But our dwarf, but our dwarf families are in trouble. You've got to help us. Oh, the keyword in there was dwarves. Um, well, hell yeah, we'll help you. I'm gonna pulverize every last one of them with my goddamn axe twenty times over. Oh, uh, look out! Here they come. Rogue demons hurtled toward the group. Must be in party, Dora and Rannis. Oh, oh no. Okay, so obviously so, Emma yeah. Kiki and Ramus get yeah. swapped. Um, who do we lose instead of Dora? I guess Kamara. I guess so. Yeah, she's disappointing. They're... All right. Elemental demons, just like always. All right, cool. All right, so can you do anything cool, Dora? Um, she can rain of arrows a whole row. Does not do a lot of damage. I think she just wanted to soften it up the back row. Alright. That's where she's best. Uh, Saren. 25, 28. 9, 10. Yeah, same thing. Well, yeah, all of the demons are difficult. We're different. We've got one of each. Yeah. Uh, uh, rally? Yep, rally. Rally! There, now they'll do a bit more damage. Um... Slope. Slope. Because none of them are immune to slope. No, oh, and one of them is vulnerable to that kind of magic. Yep. Uh, Draco. Do something terrible. Yeah, no, front row the fire. Because back row doesn't care about fire. Does it? That's right, yeah. And can you do anything defensive, or are you all... No, he's got a cleave. Oh, right. But a dark garbage axe. Yeah. Well, I mean, we haven't been kidding these people out, right? Mm, no kidding. Um, you want to just rain of arrows the whole front row? Yeah, I think now that we've got the... Oh, yeah, they've got conditions now. Oh, yeah. We can paralyze them. We can sneak attack them. I think paralyze would be pretty sweet. 
Can we paralyze this guy? No, no it's the st it's, it's the, the stagger. stagger. It's yeah. the stagger. Uh, then I think this one's our guy. Yeah. All right. Paralyze away. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So Loren, we want you on this one because this is gonna die to Draco. Okay. Uh, Saren, do we need to do any healing? I don't think so yet. No, uh, no, no. So why don't we just put him on the back guy? Ramus? What? The? Like, it's still the net damage as much, is, is like, is, is very high. Okay, so... Um, yeah, because now they should yep. all and die. Now he's going to fireball that row, and they're going to... Yep. Draco will do the thing that Draco does. She will shoot him with just a normal arrow, and he will die. And now we can worry about... Yeah. Um, they still, is this one still slowed? No, let's re-slow it. Or not. Probably could have done it with a one. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, well, it also does damage. With one. Uh, anyway. why don't we throw a heal on Ramus with the notion that there's probably more than one of these fights. Uh, yeah. And the fact that, like, Loren basically does a third of its health. Yay! Yay. Oh, Draco got a level up. Yay! No skill point. Now to the keep. Wait! You have to help us. Many homes are still in danger. My wife. The demons have my wife. Oh, well, we can't just leave them to die. You heard them. If the keep falls, then hammer hand, uh, hammer time will fall, and that cannot happen. I'm not leaving those innocents to be slaughtered. I'm sorry, but the Amazon is right. We can't waste our time here. Helping the dwarves now might guarantee us pre a precious ally in the future. We should try to help them. Inside, constantly held back by reasoning. Very well. I'll save the keep by myself. You won't fight alone. I will be with you wherever you go. Then it's settled. Saren and I will run to the keep, while the rest of you split up and try and save as many people as you can. We will meet you at the keep later. Hold them off until we arrive! Ren nodded and broke off into a run with Saren and toward the great stone structure. Listen, this is my town, it's dwarf country, so me and Dora are in charge, you hear? I picked two folk and Dora, you picked two as well. Aye, aye, sir. I'll go this way and you go that way. Got that all right. You're about to fight several battles using fewer party members. You won't heal automatically after each battle. It's recommended that you save your game now. That's an excellent recommendation. Thank you, game. We're just going to save over a bunch of them. All right. So Dora split off from Ramus and his group following the dwarf alchemist as he went down the road. They destroyed my shop, smashed all the potions, and caused an explosion. Anyone hurt? Not yet, but those demons got the side effects of my potions. Now they're overpowered and are going to terrorize homes around here. Oh, demons are bad enough, but now they're super awesome too? This conversation is extraordinarily awkward. Hold on. Here's where my shop is. Or oh, was. Door appeared into the black wreckage and gasped. When she saw something claw its way out, the demon's muscles were bulging and glowing with... It was glowing with a strange aura. Ah! Watch out! It's one of those guys! Kill it before it goes on a spray. Die, stupid monster! The party members you select now won't be available for the next battle, so choose carefully. Okay, so okay. current party limit is three. And Dora has to be in the party. Alright, and Ramus can't be. Uh... So Ramus, Ramus, Sir, Saren, and uh, yeah, um, Loren are all out. So, I, so we want her to have one wizard, right? Yeah, we want her to have a wizard and a frontliner. Uh, um, and her frontliner, we can give her Ammo Kiki, um, Mesfit, or Ken. Um, Amu, let's give her Ammo Kiki because uh, Ramus is going to be. Like, we need somebody to hold that front line a long time. Yeah. And... Do you want to give her Kambara instead? Like, somebody who does a bit more yeah. damage? 
Um, it's... Uh, the, the one on the screen was a fire demon. Yeah. So, yeah, her water can do that. Yeah. Alright. Is it actually a fire demon? It is a powerful demon. Resistant to fire, critically vulnerable to water. Alright. Chosen wisely. Alright, so let's... We shoot. Zap it. Oh. <laughs> and then it missed. Uh, uh, maximum swamp, yeah. That Well, what other does the swamp... No, hers just scales and damage. Okay. Alright, and we kiki you're up. Um, yeah, we might as well try and fear it. Okay. Oh, it's afraid. Hooray. They're afraid! Less defense. More damage. Punch. And then we can swamp it. No, let's take the sure thing. Yeah. Swamp. And thus ends that fight. All right. The overpowered demon was slain. You you actually did it. These homes are safe. Woo! All right. Now, take a quick look around, see if there's any more before meeting back with Loren, okay? Everyone nodded and followed with Dora to scout the streets. Meanwhile, the old dwarf, the dwarf miner led Ramus's group to his home. Several demons were clawing at the walls, trying to get inside. Well, those dumb fucks too stupid to know how to open doors cause all this mess. Fucking goddamn Velociraptor can open doors. My wife's still inside. You well, gotta get, get her out. I'm talking about dinosaurs here, son. Dinosaurs. Yeah, and if you get inside, you'll meet my wife. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to ask me twice. I'll get in there. I'll get all up in there. Come on, let's let's just kill. All right, so Ramus in front. Ramus in front. Back him up with Apollo Show. And do we want to give him, like, Mass Fit up front? Uh, sure. We're never going to use Mass Fit for anything else. Well, and I'm trying to keep Corinne out of this fight because she sucks. Yes. Because we misbuilt her and there's no way to respec. Yeah. All right. So we got a Hellhound and a Fire Demon. And, yeah, we're going to... Um... Okay, so... First, so first you turn into a demon. Yeah, first we turn into a demon. Yep. Um, you have Earth and Paralysis. Yep, let's see if we can double paralyze. No, nope. one paralysis. Paralyze. That <laughs> one's do. fine. Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna wail on the weak one, right? Uh, yeah, kill the one with. The... Um. The net damage on the uh, yeah, it's way better. Yeah. All right, so now we have abilities. We can hit a full row, row of enemies for a whack of damage for one third. Hit a single target for forty-five percent and, and heal. heal. He doesn't need to heal. Let's the whole row for that. Does a shit ton of damage. Yes, it does. That's great. Uh, I think we just go for that group paralyze again. Mm, sure. Like it does a little bit of damage. Yep, and it'll probably paralyze both of them. <laughs> and right. now we just beat them to death. Yep. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So this is gonna do less damage. The more. Yeah. What if we just attack now? Um. Uh, what's our regular attack? Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Let's. Uh. There you go. That's the end of that. Misfit's really good. Yeah. He kills things really well. As soon as the demons fell, the miner pushed past the group to open his front door. Sweetie? His wife ran out and jumped into his arms, sobbing for joy. You're safe. Oh, I was so scared I lost you. Well, I'm glad we should help. Uh, you don't look like no dinosaur to me, but y'all should run somewhere safe. Well, everyone's making a run for the mines. We should go too, honey. Oh, I really missed the opportunity to just do a dinosaur voice there. And I... <laughs> yeah, like, it's just, it's, the moment has passed. Like, All right, hell, we'll get you there. You guys get them in the mines. The rest of y'all follow me. We'll meet up with Dora by the keep. 
The remaining group members escorted the miner and his wife toward the mines in the mountains. They traveled far without being detected, using the chaos to their advantage. Their luck ran out when they approached the mine shaft's entrance. Oh no, we're being followed. They looked behind them and saw several demons trailing them. We can't go to the mine, they'll follow and know everyone's there. We need to kill all witnesses. Hurry! That's, that's a strange way to phrase that. Yep. The group acted before the dwarf could even finish his plea. Weird, we can just swap people? I don't think we want to. No, no, like, that was fine. Because we need to keep Ramus and... Oh, shit! That's a lot of demons. Yeah. Uh, Let's add one more. What's... Oh, yeah. I'm like, what? Right. Alright, so Paul Michaud. Um... Yeah, I mean... Oh, actually, let's go for the paralysis. Paralyze the whole front row. Just try it. Yeah. Paralyze that one. Uh, this is still our best go. Yeah. Unless we want to get him to heal himself with a potion. He might need it. Like, there's a lot. They get a lot. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of... Oh, he can go super berserk. Oh, that doesn't do anything, though. Yeah, that would, should use a bigger one, apparently. Um, what does Super Berserk do? Super Berserk increases his stamina regeneration. Oh. He's terribly useful. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the nice thing about Mesfit, right, is just, like... Well, Mesfit, no, Mes. Well, yeah, he could kill... I guess he could kill one, or he could, like... This does the... slightly more damage, but this removes an enemy from the initial Yes, order. it does. All right. So now the folks we got up front are critically weak to earth. Nice. Well, one of them is. Yeah. I honestly cannot tell the difference between these. They're really close. Um. Like. So we can do that, or we can again go for the group paral paralyze. And roll the dice. I feel like it's worth rolling that die. Eh, again one. Uh, Ramus. Fix your ass up with a big potion. This is our last big potion. Uh, Misfit, can you kill anybody? What? Uh, it's resistant to punching, probably. Is it? Because it doesn't say that it is. Oh, no, it's resistant to dark damage? No, why does he do... I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever. Uh, now we probably want to get in for the... the major damage here. I'll get Ramus in. Yeah. For that. And now we get a Polymer show on with the. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. That will finally. Oh, he's out of stamina. Well, we could have him go Super Berserk, but I think we just. Yeah. Take the kill. Yeah. Um. Kill that guy. Oh, it's even. Wow. Yep. There's a chance that will kill it. A very slim chance, but yes. True. Um, kill the kill. Yeah, kill. Let's take the kill. Oh, he turned back. Yep. Yep. Demonify. Uh, Paul on the show. What do you got? That's pretty decent. Yeah, that does. That, that opens some doors. Killed the uh, other one, too. Yeah, nice. Alright, so this is a guaranteed kill. Yep. Um, and Misfit gets the kill. Maybe on. he's stronger in his first round and gets weaker as he goes on? Maybe? Oh, well, he gained a level. Uh, yeah, let's hover on demon form. What, uh... Yeah, no, it doesn't say. Huh, weird. Yeah. Uh, oh, and he's got a skill point. Um... So we got the max level for all of these, so we don't need the lower levels. Uh, Doom Gaze hits a single staggered target for 20% of their HP. And causes a random condition. Uh, no, that sounds terrible. Uh, he's a thief? That's weird. Immolation hits a single burning target for 30% of hit point damage, but suffers for 10%. Oh, yeah. he takes damage. That sounds terrible, too. That also sounds terrible, yeah. Uh, what cool thief things? He just gets the frost... Backstab. There's nothing passive, huh? 
Backstab actually seems super good because it works when he's in demon form. Yeah. Right? So why don't we take that? Sure. Thank you, thank you. Now you can go. Now we can go hide in peace. We were sure to tell everyone about the mighty folk who saved us. Now go on, return to your friends, save our blasted keep. It's all we got. We nodded and rushed off toward the sounds of war in hopes of finding Ramus and Dora. But Ramus was with us through the through the town. Loren and Saren followed the carnage to the Grand Tower in the center. There were demons attacking the walls, but the dwarves in the tower were defending it with everything they had. How can we possibly stop them all? We put swords in them. Ren didn't say a word before she charged a lingering pack of demons before her. Alright, so our current party limit is three, and it's literally just the two of them. Back row for Saren? Uh, yep, yeah, so he can just hide there and heal her. Yeah. Um, Jesus. Oh, they're level three. Okay. okay. Um... So yeah, this like looks impressive, but it actually like yeah, we do a bunch. Of uh, no, let's focus fire because none of them are we. Got it's all single target attacks for us. Sixty-one to seventy sounds good. Uh, uh, buff. Yeah, let's rally. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Saren's gonna just heal bot her like nonstop. Uh, yep. Um. Or he's gonna actually kill a thing. Those are weak to physical damage, I think. Ah. Or they're weak to the type of damage that his bow does. Uh, Saren? And now he's rallied, so he just does a bunch of damage. Yeah. Uh, and kill that one. Yep. Uh, that's the end of that. Uh, I think we can go a bit longer without healing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so the earth one is... Yeah, the earth one is going to take some punching, but fire one can die. Uh, I'm actually just going to have her open up on this yep. one. Yep, and yeah, Saren can Saren kill can that one. I'm going to see how that. Yay! Quartz. The battle was done. It was clear that Loren would not have been able to storm the keep by herself, as she claimed. <laughs> she totally sure. could have. She totally could have. <laughs> Loren stood stoically for a moment as the blood dripped from her weapons. Thank you. I'm just doing my duty. Princess. Hey, save some for us! Ramus ran up to Loren and Saren, waving his arms around, and Dora's group was following close behind. How did everything go? I'm perfect, of course, and Dora did an outstanding job as well. Dora finally caught up and huffed a few times to catch her breath. When she looked up at the green keep, she jumped. Whoa, so many demons! Where do we even stop? Well, that's what I asked a minute ago, and then she just started stabbing everyone. <laughs> Ren turned back to the demon army and pulled out the ember blade. She studied each foe one by one. She pointed a sort of a hulking rock creature in the middle of the chaos. It looked like a golem from the mountains, and they expected no less. They were powerful creatures that Faust would have definitely recruited to his side. The ember blade began to glow from un being unsheathed. The sight and sound seemed to ag agitate the demons even from a distance. The rock golem rotated to face her. His eyes glowed in a tense moment. His features were unmistakable. This was Khan, the fabled Alpha Golem. <laughs> Stop! Everyone within Leagues of the Golem froze from the mightiness of his command. The dead silence that followed was so eerie that a chill crawled down Saren's spine. The rock creature took heavy, slow steps toward Loren and the rest. The demons that had been attacking the dragon keep broke away to follow him. Hold steady. Even Loren was intimidated by Khan heading right toward her. Khan! The Khan needs a hug. <laughs> oh, what's up, Ren? Uh, her words glued everyone in their place. Ramus, so enraged at what he was witnessing, raised his axe and took point. You're the sword keeper! You're the Amazon. The golem's words rumbled from his mouth, causing the ground to vibrate with each syllable. I demand you leave the city. I will leave when you are dead. 
Ren pulled out her second sword. Saren did the same, even though he doesn't have a second sword. There was no way that rock demon was going to take his mistress. Oh well, shit, son, why'd you attack this proud goddamn city? Us dwarves ain't done nothing to you demons, except, of course, all the wars with demons and living so close, but... I mean, shit. Dwarves, elves, humans, we don't care. We're not racist. We don't see... Like, we don't like anyone. He said the sword keeper would show if we fought. We fought, and she showed. You killed these people just to get to me. I mean, I'm sort of flattered. Is it weird that I'm flattered? Yes. He said you must die. Trembling under them was much stronger from how closer he was how close he was. The demon army behind him cackled and squeaked in an unsettling chorus. No, the mighty Loren will not die. Not now, not ever. But Saren, everyone dies someday. I have a really Sa shaky grasp on reality. Loren and Saren rushed into battle almost in unison. That's not how unison works. Boss fight. Khan. Khan! Yeah, obviously that. Yep. That um, don't fix what ain't broke. Although, I will say, Misfit's a strong-ass choice for that front row. Uh, I do, like, he does less against bosses, though. It's true. That's Oh, that's right, yeah, he's super shit against bosses. Apollo Michelle's, like, out of juice. Yeah. That's, and Kambara's yeah. in anyway for her water attack. Yeah, and Amukiki is just our tank. Like, he protects yeah. us if this is a long fight. He's our main tank. Yeah. He protects our front row. A thousand hit points, resistant to darkness, critically weak to air. Interesting. Alright, so why don't we open this up? Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just open up this pickle jar here. Uh, sure. Seems great. Yeah. Uh, rally. Rally? Yeah, we're gonna need to. Yeah, we're gonna need to be doing some healing with. Uh... But I think we want to get the slowdown first. Yeah, and Saren's got another round before anything else comes in. Like this is everybody gets to go. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That'll do some good. Oh, very nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, let's just uh, swamp that. Yeah, let's swamp that row. Oh no, icing. Um. Fireball. That's a pretty good fireball. Yeah, how does ice do on them? Um, the water one is... Yeah, yeah, not so hot. No. Yeah, that's a... Oh, yeah, that actually does a lot of good. And... Uh, get that shield wall up. Yep. And oh, he just he goes, go again. goes again. Uh, yeah, let's, let's take that guy out of the equation. Yeah, because Loren will hit this guy. Yeah. We will heal Loren. Yes, we will. Oh, we could have refueled Apollo Michaud, but still, Kamara's doing fine. And yeah, she's no. got the gear. And, oh, the fire guy just conveniently came to the front row. Thank you, fire guy. What's up? Welcome to, you, uh, uh, welcome, welcome to, to the, the show. Of hurt. Yeah, like a world of pain. <laughs> Did not even get to act. Uh, Has Khan not gone once? No, Khan just went. But okay. the fire guy didn't even get to go after moving up to the front row. He just <laughs> like, died. Hey Alright, so 163 or 133. That seems like an obvious yep. vote for water. Um, Saren, slap a heal. Yep. Uh, Mirth, still slowed, right? Still yeah, slowed, slowed for frozen. Two. Does um, she have any water attacks? No. No, she has an air attack that can make him tired. Uh, what 76 to 90. It, do, it does a bunch of damage, though, too. Oh, so. yeah, sure. Oh, he's not tired. Smack. Smack. Yeah, I was just gonna lay down the pain. Stick him out. So much for Alpha Golem. Warhammer Kazinga. And a Staff of the Mountains. And a Changer of Nature. Oh. That was very nice. Those all seem like actually D skier. Um, oh, Kiki gained a level. What do we do with that? Um, uh, we continue building a shield wall. He's now got level 2 shield wall. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 40% defense. Yeah. Seems great. 
And he gets... And he gets stronger. Of course three. he does. Complex game mechanics. Pieces of con started rolling to, to roll off of him. He was silent as he watched himself fall apart. Uh, pieces of con is my Kirk con slash Vic. I return to my brother's. The rock of his face crumbled and his eyes went dark. All that was left of the Alpha Golem was a pile of boulders. Save hammer time! More level ups! Hooray! Let's click dials! Alright, we're leveling up that. And we want we can max out the SP recharge. Which we have literally never used. Or we can max out the heal. Let's max out the heal. We have actually used that. Uh, Loren... Uh, uh, gets better at stabbing. Yeah. Just, like, super dual wield damage. I don't even know what we're gonna do with her next one. Well, there's warrior things. I bet she can do something warrior-ish. Um, max hit points. Yeah, fair enough. Uh... Tanking stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh no, that's an active power attack. Okay. But just max hit points actually seems pretty legit. Yeah. 15, 20, 25. Yeah. That's less legit. Uh, Dora. Um, we were getting more hail of arrows, I think. Uh, ankle shot. I can't remember. Oh yeah, we were working towards. Yes, we were working towards more hail of arrows. Although. Ankle shots seem to work great when we can use it. Yeah, like when they're staggered, it works wonderfully. Yeah. And Loren does seem to stagger things pretty reliably. Alright, so let's get another round of pinning shot. And let's go. Ramus. Uh, Ramus is just heading for more cleave. Oh, yeah, because we maxed out his willpower. Yeah. And cleave definitely seems like his best increases his attack but lowers his defense so there's his attack defense berserk thing but i think cleave is just better uh probably uh karen we are slowly fixing her stats uh strike through three sure yeah i'm okiki he doesn't get any skill points because he just leveled up. Ray. Uh, Ray got more and more headshot. Um, oh, right, because we were looking at the instant kill piece. Yeah. No, we were getting him yeah. frost bomb. Yes, or frost we were. flasks. Uh, That's yep. right. Yeah, because some of those thief abilities are actually pretty good. Um, she's not going to skill point. Salzer. Um, Salzer, I think, just gets like more punching. Oh, right, because we were leveling up to Dragon Kick. Because it's a uh, super high chance of paralysis. Oh, right, yeah. Um, yeah, and then when he does occasionally parry a blow. Ah, uh, Kamara doesn't get any skill points because she already leveled. Paula Michaud doesn't get any skill points. And Misfit doesn't get any skill points. Achievement unlocked. Powerful. Reach 50 strength. Hooray! The demons behind him were no longer jeering. As soon as Loren looked at them, they fell out of ranks and tried to flee any which way they could. Loren was too winded to do anything more. She fell to her knees and tried to desperately regain her breath. Loren, are you all right? Saren was by her side immediately, checking her for mortal wounds. N no, I'm, I'm fine. The demons have attacked a neutral city, one untouched by the elves of the Empire. Yes, it will be most interesting to hear how the Council will try to blame this one on the elves. They can't possibly. They'll have to realize that their enemy lies in the Everburn Mountains, not in the forest. Let's go to Grimoire. I'm sure... I'll make sure their actions are swift. 
party tended to the city of Hammer Time shortly for, before leaving for Grimoire. The dwarven leaders were grateful for their service and assured Ramus that the city would be rebuilt in no time. They also agreed to join the army against the demons, which was extremely welcome. After experiencing the wrath of the demons firsthand, they all feared what else Foster Logger had in store for them. They traveled to Grimoire to confront the council on what had transpired in Hammer Time. They omitted the fact that the demons attacked merely to bait Loren, uh, to keep anyone from branding her a threat to the world. It was because she had the sword that the demons wanted her dead, which made it even more important to protect her. After much deliberation, accusations, arguments, and placating, the Council of Grimoire finally came to an agreement that the demons were a stronger enemy than any other and that they needed to collaborate with the elves to take them down. Through Queen Karen's authority, Loren was now granted the use of the Amazon Griffins so they could travel all across the world with ease. I mean, I hadn't noticed any difficulty. Yeah, no. Chapter 3. Trial by Fire. Oh, look at our boy! Our boy in his 8-pack. He's like Kylo Ren. We should also wrap the stream. I'm just looking for a spot to do it. Yep. <laughs> but Back at the Citadel, Loren was entertaining both the Empire and Elven generals in the audience chamber. They were fast to disagree Should on Should we just save here map. and be like... Yeah, let's just save. Yeah, we'll just be like, hey, it's, it's part 3. Oh, man. Maybe we can do the DLC now. Yeah, probably. God, we're only on chapter three. How many chapters are there? I, I don't know. I feel like this is final act. Is it? Is it? I think there's this one and then another one. Uh, I think. I mean, we'll, we've gotten it, like, we did the meet the people. We did the get everybody together. Yeah, but we've and, still got, like, three characters left to get. One of them's from the DLC, admittedly. All right. Because we have three of the DLC characters, because they're Sauzer, Kambara, and uh, Mesfit. Right. So... Yeah, seriously, who's our missing characters? Yeah, like... Or there's... did they just leave extra space in case maybe someday they'll have more? Oh, maybe. I don't know, we'll find out, I guess. Alright, but... so yeah, join us in two weeks for more... Loren, Amazon, Amazon Princess. Princess. Oh my god. This game is so bad and so good. <gasps> oh dear. Alright, thanks for hanging out. See you later.